Let me show you how I make clarified butter. Very simple, very easy, straightforward. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's go. Let's start with unsalted butter. We use unsalted butter because we wanna regulate the amount of salt that's in our recipe. Into a medium saucepan under low heat. That's the key. Low and slow is the way to go. Nice and easy. Don't stir your butter and then you'll notice all the milk solids are separating to the bottom of the saucepan. And then what you're gonna be left with is nothing but that beautiful clarified butter fat on the top of the saucepan. And that's what we're after. When you make your own clarified butter, it's a lot cheaper than buying store-bought brands. It's lactose-free, easy to digest, and by removing all the milk solids, you've just increased the smoke point to 450 degrees. Now, once your butter is completely melted, you want to strain it off into a cheesecloth through a strainer into a glass container. You'll notice that all the milk solids are left behind at the bottom of the saucepan. That's the key here. We didn't have to stir, we didn't have to scoop any foam off the top, we didn't have to use high heat or burn the butter. Now, if some of the milk solids make it into the strainer, that's okay, that's what the cheesecloth is for. So what I try to do is back it up and I push the milk solids towards the back and then I bring the clear butter towards the front. Like I said, if you get some of the milk solids in the cheesecloth, don't worry about it. There you go, folks. Simple, easy, and delicious clarified butter. If you're in the need for clarified butter, you have to give this recipe a try. If you found value from this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Thanks so much. I truly appreciate it, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.